Second ex Mrs. Wilson won money. I'm no longer paying alimony. She wanted her independence, so she got her realtor's license. Market's doing badly. She wants money. Market's doing badly. She's moving into a condo. She wants. She wants me to take Hector. Pool boy. Dog. No longer interested. We got him on our honeymoon. So I'm like the other parent. But I can't take him. And with Tell doesn't allow dogs. Besides, I'm always here. I asked Cuddy to a play Thursday. <laughs> oh, you... Okay. She said she was busy. And you didn't believe her, so you bribed a janitor, broke into her computer, checked her appointments. I asked her as a test. What would you have learned if she'd said yes? A lot about bondage. She's busy for me, but not for you. She's not interested in the play, qua play. She's interested in you. No, I'm not getting sucked into the vortex of your insanity again. Don't pass me notes in class. Don't tell me to ask her to the prom. You cannot see her socially. You're leading her on. I'll consider that after I take her to the Hockney exhibit. On Thursday. See, she is busy. It's not a date. She enjoyed the play. I enjoyed her enjoying the play. The woman works hard. It's nice to see her relax. So all this enjoying an act of charity. I'm keeping the receipts for tax purposes. You like Hockney? You heard about that. Pop stuff or the Venezuelan pictures? That's a trick question. Yes, but you have no idea how it's a trick. I like art. I'm open to new things. What's the problem? You're going to a gallery to see Venezuelan pictures that don't exist, but you won't go to a play with me. Why? House, why is my social life suddenly red hot? One minute I'm mushing along with the Huskies as usual, and suddenly it's global warming. You think you saw somebody else pick up a toy from the sandbox, and suddenly you want it. Is that why you said no? Maybe I just want a friend, and I thought Wilson was a safe choice. I'm not safe? Cool. James Wilson is never the safe choice. Going to a gallery. We're not getting married. I'm sure you say that now. He always marries them in the end. It's an open floor plan. <laughs> you know, I can't believe you called me. Hey, I need a condo. Didn't you and Wilson have your first date around here? Wow, you remember where our first date was. I didn't think you were paying attention. Really? He's my best friend. Our first date was in Boston. Oh. Not quite as close to here as I remembered. But we're not here to talk about him. Absolutely not. Where do you see the kitchen? All granite countertops. Since I wasn't paying attention back then, what was it like dating him? So this is Hockney? No, I don't, I don't know what happened. I'm sure you don't. I never knew your tastes were so eclectic. Oh, the Hockney exhibit finished on April 20th. I thought it was May 20th. Okay, my bad. This is not somewhere I'd bring someone on a date. Not, not that this is a date, obviously. I was just thinking, he's doing landscapes on multiple canvases now, and they're kind of peaceful, and you're always so busy. Well, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you embarrassed before. Oh, it was never a date. Uh, I was coming off a bad relationship, and he said we could go out as friends, you know, just go see plays, go to a museum. I didn't think you liked Trenton. Love it. So he'd say it's not a date, but then he jumped you. Oh, no, he meant it. James Wilson, carefully calibrating his level of protectiveness for your individual needs. Did you just compare Wilson to a tampon? No. <laughs> It was very endearing. He really just wanted to be a friend. So I jumped him. The bedroom's through here. That's such a bad idea. There's no way that won't cause damage to the large intestine. Are you keeping us here to torture me? Is that a bicycle pump? That's what I'm saying. It's like walking into a sticky trap. Well, once you're the focus of all that attention, it's addictive. Uh, this unit's kitchen's got a chef's oven. I cook a lot. Go on. It's the emotional stuff that really sucks you in. He's just so knight in shining armor, you know? Always there to support you until one day he's not, but by then you're hooked. 
Hey, do you think that you could talk to him about taking the dog? He's the only one that Hector really gets along with. Hey, hey, hey. we're here to talk real estate, not Wilson. So you're saying if you'd actually had sex before you connected emotionally, you'd have gotten over him. Oh, yeah, it seems weird, right? Because sex with James, it's fantastic. Nobody works harder to give a woman what she wants. It's got six burners. This chef's oven. Right. Bonnie called last night to talk about the dog. Your name came up. Good Lord. Why do you still have teeth? She's the worst realtor in New Jersey. What is this, escalation? I go out with Cuddy, you hook up with my ex? I don't even know what that's designed to do. You're an addict. I'm saving you from yourself. By condo shopping. Thank you. I can figure out where you keep going wrong. I can nip this Cuddy thing in the bud before she becomes the fourth ex-Mrs. Wilson. Yes. I was worried there was no way to stop that train. You have to have sex with Cuddy. Wait, to stop the train? Bonnie said, I'm bad in bed. Huh? Yeah, she also said that if she'd slept with you before she liked you, then it would have made it easier to handle when you turned into the sorry bastard who left her alone. I told her you were wasting her time, by the way. I think that's gonna stop. The woman's the worst realtor in New Jersey. You haven't been returning my phone calls. I'm busy. Well, um, but if you have half an hour, a little later this afternoon, um, I just found this unit, 10 minutes from here. It hasn't been on the market yet. I'm off the market for condos. James was right. I never had the teeniest chance of selling you anything. Of course he was right. Wilson doesn't stop giving good advice just because you're divorced. He's compulsive about remaining on good terms with his exes. Do you want to know why I named that dog Hector? No, let's keep it a mystery. Because even when he was a puppy, he was the worst tempered dog we'd ever seen. He was supposed to be house trained. He'd pee on the carpet every morning. When we had people over, he had to nip at their ankles. Hector Does Go Rug is an anagram for Dr. Greg House. That's how early in the marriage I resented you. Wow, did I ever waste money on that place setting? James at least had the decency to feel guilty when he hurt me. Whereas I didn't hurt you. I didn't even marry you, cleverly hoping to avoid moments like this one. You always needed him, and he was always there for you. If you keep yelling, I'll think you owe me sex. You knew he had a wife waiting at home. You didn't care. I'm not saying you broke up the marriage, but you didn't help. First, Hector does go rug is a lame anagram. You want a better one for Gregory House. Huge ego, sorry. Second, find a new career. You're never gonna sell anybody if you let them control the agenda. Third, I don't owe you anything. I'm not Wilson. I'm not gonna buy a condo just to make you feel better. 